Hello everyone, this is Time with Tech Kitchen. Now we, I want to show you a quick dinner you can do with your family. Now you don't have to do too much with this dish. It's very few ingredients and it's so easy. Pepper shrimp for dinner in Time with Tech Kitchen. This is delicious. Stay tuned, you want to know how to make this. And what we're going to eat this with in my kitchen. Stay tuned and see how we'll come out with this beautiful and tasty shrimp. Hello everyone, have you ever come back in the evening and you want to do a quick dinner and your family wants something protein, something light? This is a very good one. We are going to do some pepper shrimp. This is a very large shrimp. This dish is really good with any shrimp you want, but I love, love, love it to do it with large shrimp for my family. So the ingredients are very, very simple. I mean, if you have pre-cooked ingredients uh, in the fridge like I do, if not, you can do it from scratch. So here we have our, our stew. This is our stew base. I'm gonna link um, a link below uh, how to make this. It's in our channel. And this is our pepper sauce. I already have this in our channel. And our star ingredient is a big, the large shrimp. You can see it's not been cleaned yet. It's not been deveined. We're gonna do that. Some onion and we have some um, leeks there. We have some more garlic powder, uh, ginger powder, onion powder for more smoky flavor. So we're going to have this with some fried plantains and some vegetables. But the main thing I want to show you is how to do this. So stay tuned and see how I come about this. This is a very tricky dish. It doesn't stay long to cook. Go, don't go away. The next thing we're going to do is to devein our shrimp. We've peeled off the skin. Now what we do with devein is that you broke a line in the back like this. And then you take out this um, this is an intestine that has come out. So we're going to do it for all of our shrimp and dry it properly with a cloth. The next thing we're going to do, you can see our shrimp has been parted dry with cloth. So I'm going to put my garlic, a little bit of garlic powder, ginger powder, and some cubes, salt, and some onion powder. I mix very well. So I'm going to mix my cubes onion powder, garlic powder, ginger powder, a little bit of salt. Be careful with your salt. You know, your sauces that you're gonna use, the pepper sauce and the stew has cubes. So that stew is very rich. If you watch my channel, you'll see that stew. I'll put the link for you. So just be very careful. You just wanna marinate this. We're gonna keep this shrimp for 20 minutes for it to just marinate and taste very well. Next thing is to stir fry our marinated shrimp. We're just gonna fry the shrimp. You know, shrimp don't cook for too long. So we're gonna fry it real quick. Very medium heat. Our aim is to make this shrimp cook well. Now, if you don't fat dry your shrimp, you're gonna have water everywhere. So it's good to use paper towel or your cooking cloth that is used to Fat dry fish or meat, you fat dry your shrimp because you want this to sear very well. So let's sear it with low heat, and this is gonna be very fast. In five minutes, highest this shrimp is ready. We're gonna flip the side area after two, three minutes. Remember, we're gonna keep putting inside our sauce. Or if you see as the shrimp turns pink, it means it's ready. Okay, you see how it turns pink. So just turn the side. Now is the perfect time to turn the side. You can see it stays dry. There's no water everywhere. But if your shrimp was not part dry, there'll be water everywhere. It is fine. And the flavor in here, guys, if I tell you, it's amazing. Check out this. This is ready now. Let's check it out. It's in a clean pan. My baby is enjoying herself. <laughs> you can hear her voice. So, this is the second bag. My shrimps are all out. You can see what I left in the pan, the vegetable oil. That's amazing. And then this is how my shrimp looks like. This tastes so good. 
we're gonna continue with our dish next i've added my leeks and some onions now i can add my heat now remember i was cooking under very low heat if i was doing the same so your issue here is to make this vegetable taste the same like the flavor of the chicken that you just stir fry in here you just see it so you want this to bring out the flavor i'm sorry about my daughter she's really excited tonight and the flavor in my kitchen is amazing so we're gonna caramelize it a little bit and then you're gonna mix everything together you don't want to mix this this tastes so good it's a very fast dinner try it at home guys and comment and let me know what you think i love to use white onion for this dish because it's sweet white onion is really sweet and then you don't have to put much meat, you know because our stew has leaves it has all the peppers and all that this is perfect next i'm gonna add my stew and my pepper in here now the pepper sauce will depend on how hot you want your spicy so i'm gonna pull it and taste so how moist do you want it and still we don't have a lot of cream um so we don't want too much moist it's gonna be like a stew so i'm gonna taste this for salt and cubes and make sure that my garlic everything is balanced in here and the pepper this is amazing you can see it's not too dry you can see it's a little bit saucy and the pepper is just warm and hot this dinner is on fire guys so next we're gonna add our shrimp now from this point your shrimp will not be up to three minutes in here what you are doing in here is garnishing that's it the shrimp is already cooked you don't want to overcook your shrimp it's not good to overcook shrimp so my fire will be very low and i'm gonna mix everything together this is amazing mm -mm 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 -mm. I just said check this, it's so good guys, mm. it's delicious, check out the shrimp. So good, moist, not to cook, it's amazing. So we're going to go ahead and plate this with our compliments for this and you want to see how it turns out. Don't